every single person in this room is dealing with unbelievable uncertainty, continuous decisions that have to be made. Not all of you, but many people uh, in the room are investing huge amounts of money uh, in capital every single year, not quite sure if it's the right technology, and not quite sure where the competition's gonna come from. And the potential for missteps is very high. The question that I asked the CEO is, what would it mean to you to be relevant? And it's as good, it's a good as a method as any is, is, is just to do a bit of the back of the envelope. Well, relevance might be market share. It might mean that you've got investable resources, you're generating enough cash to do the kind of deals you need to do, uh, and, and for reinvestment. You know, what, what, what's the shape? And that's, that's what I was asking about the data. Why do you want it? You know, what does that profitability mean? Why do you want the data? How is it gonna be infused? And what's the end goal? It can't just be big data. Where are you going with that? We're in an industry that is changing continuously. We're not quite sure where our competition's gonna come from. It inherently means that our lives are about continuous change, continuous adaptation. We're gonna be looking at technology and new products, but who's gonna use them? Who's gonna integrate them? Um, so little discussion seems to happen about the people in the company and their behavior. You definitely need a very senior, properly positioned team that is not just running board processes, but that is ideating around where this is gonna go, where the competition's gonna come from. And what I'm seeing right across the board is a kind of juniorization of this type of role, where we say, we look at, maybe look at innovation, but it's kind of on the side. And I would, I would appeal that in this kind of environment, particularly one would need not a big team, but you know, an exco level, you know, reporting kind of team that is helping chart this kind of change. We'll often bring in a consultant to maybe advise us, but very rarely do, does one see the building up of internal teams that are living, breathing, thinking, companies listening. The best work I know that, that I did as chief of strategy at Telcom was where we, we took control of an idea, tried to generate how it might work, anything from strategic pricing to the integration of the network. There were so many changes we made at Telcom. The best work I feel that, that I led was when we brought special teams around a, a particular problem area, hypothesized how to solve the problem, where we wanted to go, and the teams who knew the company so well would get excited because firstly, they're being brought out of their day jobs, you know, because they're getting, getting out of the routine. They're being listened to because actually many people have thought of it already and now they wanna be listened to, they wanna bring it into operation. I think that's the best way of getting this integration. When a company recruits consultants to solve a problem and the staff aren't leading that whole process, which I think happens a lot, that they don't, it won't get integrated into the company properly.